Hi, welcome to the Daily News or MOCV. I am calling your money. Governor Samuel Otum has called on youths of Benue states to stand up and defend themselves and their communities against armed bandits attacking some parts of the state. The governor's call came after armed bandits reportedly invaded Hagogu village in the outskirts of Makodi town at about 11 p.m., killing one lawyer, Mr. Moses Udam, who is also a pastor of Gospel Faith Mission, his wife in Kechi, and an 88-year-old blind, Mazugo Iko. The House of Representatives on Wednesday instructed the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC to extend the deadline for the re-registration of all SIM cards in Nigeria using the Nigerian Identity Number NIN to February 2021. The Commission on Tuesday issued a two-week ultimatum to telecommunication service providers to use the NIN to re-register all SIM cards in the country to mitigate cases of miscreants using unregistered cards to commit crimes in the country. A total sum of 2.94 billion Naira has been earmarked in the next fiscal year to build 260 classrooms, comprising of 140 units of 3 blocks classrooms, 120 units of 2 blocks of classrooms, and 8 workshops, science laboratories across the state. State Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Professor Abayomi Arigbabu, disclosed this while taking his turn to defend the ministry's 2021 budget proposal before the State House of Assembly Committee on Finance and Appropriation, led by Honorable Kunle Shobukola at the Assembly Complex, Okemoso Abeokuta. On its national news, the World Health Organization in Europe warned on Wednesday of a further resurgence of COVID-19 in early 2021 as it urged families to wear face masks during this year's Christmas gatherings. The organization said in a statement, and I quote, there is, there is a higher risk of further resurgence in the first weeks and months of 2021 and we will need to work together if we are to succeed in preventing it. The organization also added that while it may feel awkward to wear masks around family members doing so contributes significantly to ensuring that everyone remains safe and healthy on sports slavin Bilik became the first premier league manager to lose his job this season when he was sacked by struggling west bromic albion on wednesday the 52 year old croatian second comes to the side 19th in the table but on the back of an encouraging one-to-one draw with manchester city on tuesday Bilik had been at the club for only 18 months but at the end the admiration of the fans after leading West Brom to automatic promotion from the championship last season. On entertainment, Nigerian singers Homale and Thames can breathe a sigh of relief after they were arrested in Uganda for flouting COVID-19 guidelines as they are now with the Nigerian mission in Uganda. The chairman Nigerians in Diaspora Commission Abike Dabi Rewa took to a Twitter account to announce that both singers were with the Nigerian mission in Uganda. That will be all for today. For more news, follow us on all our social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website as www.remotv.com.ng. I am Polymia Moniyi. Bye for now.